What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Boat Show with a brand new episode and the transfer window is still open. We still have quite a lot of money left, to be precise, 50 million pounds left in the transfer budget and I asked you guys which player, which players should we sign and the most popular choices were Jamar Lassell and Ruben Neves. We already signed three big players, Pulisic, Bailey and Fabinho in this transfer window but I think we need a backup center back just in case uh, if anything happens to Van Dijk or Matip of course we have Joe Gomez but we sent out um, our fourth center back on a short term loan so let's go in and approach uh, Borussia Dortmund interestingly Dortmund has Jamal Lassells so Jamal Lassells at the start of the game is a 78 rated but his potential is 83 so I thought I figured uh, let's offer them like uh, maybe 15 million pounds in terms of a transfer fee that seems about right and also let's add a big salon clause just to see whether Dortmund are uh, interested in that I don't really want to offer them too much money okay so we were about right in that uh, offering them uh, 15 million so okay they want 21 Point six million. Uh, let's try. Let's try uh, seventeen point six million. Let's see what Dortmund say to this offer. It's a little bit closer. Okay, they are saying that it's a fair offer. So maybe I could have offered a little bit less, but seventeen point six million seems like a decent offer for Jamal Lascelles. And I really am a big fan of him in real life at Newcastle. He has been doing really, really well. And of course, any centre back who plays for Rafa Benitez. Uh, will have a great tactical knowledge of the game because Rafa Benitez is one of the best in terms of uh, you know setting his team up defensively so Jamal Lascelles uh, wants a rotation role I'm happy with that five-year contract wow that's great guys if you enjoy these types of uh, Liverpool carrier mode episodes make sure to smash the like button and oh wow we want a huge huge wage uh, first of all remove his appearance bonus and also his signing bonus needs to be a lot less let's do like 500k signing bonus and a wage of uh, 75k 86k seems a little bit steep he wants now 89k wow and the signing bonus okay 650 let's do let's do 80k weekly wages come on Come on, Lost Cell, just please work with me. Okay, he wants uh, 89k still. Let's do 85. Come on, Lost Cell. Yes, he accepted it. 85k weekly wages. It's a little bit uh, of a. I think we are overpaying a little bit for Lost Cell. But if we want to get him, you know, you sometimes have to do that. And I think I will remove these guys from the, uh, you know, transfer list because the short list because uh, we already signed the center back. So the other guy is Ruben Neves. I'm a really big fan of him. He scored some absolutely incredible long range strikes. The big problem is I don't really know what his value is. The problem is like Ruben Neves at the start is like 76 or something like that. But he has a potential of 86 and my problem is I don't really know what kind of, uh, you know, how much he grew in the two, two and a half seasons uh, that he, he was at Wolverhampton Wonders. Let's add a big salon close. Okay, so they haven't walked out, thankfully, but they want 27k. Let's do 20, 22k. Come on, Wolverhampton. Okay, so they accepted it and the 5% salon close. I'm happy with that. So we could get Ruben Neves for 22k and we could still have some money left over to the January transfer but you guys made a great point that if and that's a big if but if we manage to sell Thomas Lamar we could generate 70 million pounds and we could we could use that in the January transfer window to just just plug in any holes that we have left okay they are happy with the rotation player role let's give him a five-year contract i really hope that they accept it yes they did let's disregard the release clause oh and he wants a lot of bonuses and a lot of wages you know what let's remove the bonus i don't really want to give him an appearance bonus and let's edit the wage down to like 70k i will just keep the signing bonus as it is oh yes that's great so we could get ruben Neves on 70k weekly wages 
and I really like how he looks in game. So Jamal Lassell is now 80 rated so he almost reached his full potential and he has medium and high work rate and 6 foot 2 very strong very big player 85 marking 82 heading stand and slide tackle is 76 both this pretty decent 84 strength so he's a very very strong player so he is also a pretty strong player he's not the fastest but that's that's not why we bought him he has 78 interceptions a pretty awesome long shot 80 long shots his free kick accuracy is 78 even though he scored a brilliant free kick on the opening day of the Premier League season but his passing stats are out of this world 87 long passing 89 short passing 82 shot power very good slide and slant stand tackle he will be a long-term replacement for jordan henderson so jamal Estelle and ruben neves welcome to liverpool i really hope that you guys enjoy your stay at our club and win many trophies we are in second place and we are chasing arsenal who for the first time have the best start apart from us out of the big teams I want to win almost every game in the premier league just to get that cushion at the start of the season and hopefully uh, we will have no problems defending our Premier League title. Let's go! Welcome to the Liverpool Southampton game, really looking forward to this. Go on Fakir, bang it! What a save McCarthy, unlucky but good start. I will put a guy on the line, I really hope we don't concede from this. Good save Alisson. Tadic Krotzin, Gabbiadini! What a save, Alisson. That was going in. Oh, Alisson is an incredible goalkeeper, both in real life and on FIFA. Oh, Klein. Back post. Firmino. And Shirley. Oh, that play was magnificent. But somehow the goalkeeper <laughs> saves this. Oh, why? Oh, no. What have I done? No, 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 no! What the hell? Klein, come on, bro! One small mistake, I gave the ball away and I didn't even touch any buttons there. Uh, straight away after Bailey misses a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, can we save this? Gabbiadini, oh my goodness, he scores. Brilliant penalty. Southampton are 1-0 up. Come on. Go on, Robertson. Oh, this is beautiful! What a tackle! Oh, go on. Go on, Robertson. No way. Oh, my days. Oh. Oh, Mane. Mane has to score! Mane! Oh, let's go! Sadio Mane! <laughs> Come on. And of who else but Sadio Mane, the player of the season last season. He already got two goals in the first game and now in the third game he gets another one. Great first touch and he has the finish as well. Let's bring on Pulisic, Shakiri, and Henderson for the quite tired players. And I think these fresh, uh, fresh legs could make the difference in the last few minutes. Oh, I love Shakiri, man. He's really, really looking forward to him scoring some bangers for Liverpool. Go on. Oh, go on. Klein! Bang! Oh, he doesn't have the finish, Klein! If it's another player, that's probably a goal. Come on. Come on. Mane. Mane. Oh my, why didn't I shoot earlier? What are you doing, Tom? I wanted to get a better angle, but in the end, I really messed that up because the defender just stole the ball because they have the ball here. Oh, oh yes. Oh, surely now. Surely I won't mess, mess this up. Money! And we have done it! The cup we did this guy! Sadio Mane just cannot stop scoring! Get in there! Come on! The beat! Sadio Mane just cannot stop scoring. He's such a goal machine. Brilliant. Keep, keep, keep your shape. No. Oh my goodness! Clear the ball! Klein! <laughs> Klein clips it off the line. Absolutely incredible scenes. 
Oh, I'm not that calm in real life, trust me. <laughs> go on. Go on, we can kill them, kill them off. Nabi Keita. Nabi Keita! What a save! I mean, did the defender block it? Look at this, look how close this was to being 2-2. Oh, Nathan Klein clearing off the line. What an incredible game this is. Oh, money. Yes, Firmino, great stuff. And we are just happy to waste time. A red card! What? How on earth is that a red card? Hoibjerg. Yes, it probably Firmino was shielding the ball, but ah, uh, yeah, from behind. Yeah, Hoiberg just lost it completely. We were looking defeat square in the eyes and we said not today. We are not losing our first Premier League game of the season. And Mane, what more can I say about this guy? He is just absolutely incredible he was already has four goals in uh, in three games i think eight shots to three of southampton i think we deserved it but in the first half i will be honest i was struggling and uh, southampton got the got a very very contentious penalty but Firmino was the man of the match with two assists, he had a good game. There are like three hours left on the transfer window and we get a loan offer for Julio Barrios who is one of our youth academy players. He's 17 years old, 71 rated already and let's, let's negotiate with Nantes because I need to loan him out so we, he can get uh, some playing time and yes le let's accept a one-year loan deal so in the end I negotiated a wage, uh, wage of 60% uh, for Nantes and 40% for Liverpool I just hope that Barrios accepts uh, the opportunity and we also get a transfer offer for Adam Lalana from Wolfsburg. Uh, Adam Lalana's value is uh, 15 million. He already rejected uh, Hamburg but this time Wolfsburg may be a slightly bigger club in a slightly better financial situation but I want to get just a little bit more uh, money out of them so let's ask let's ask for 18 million and let's see what they say about that okay so they are saying 15.4 still you know what let's do 17 million what are you saying to that come on 14.8 we are getting closer that's good let's do 16 and a half million okay they matched the price we want to sell Adam Lallana because as you know he is a player who is getting uh, older and older he's 31 years old and he's not just not in my long-term plans and I think it's better off that he goes to a club where he plays every week because there is no point uh, him sitting on the bench for Liverpool most of the weeks that's really unlucky Julio Boris's loan move was rejected by the player so he doesn't go out on loan to FC Nantes, I'm really gutted about that. These are the young players that I'm training. I really want to train my youth academy goalkeeper up so he can be a really good player for us, hopefully. Long term, he's now 67 rated, so he's developing nicely. And I'm also gutted about this, but Adam Lalana rejected moving to Wolfsburg as well. That's, I don't understand why he has done that. He really needs to play more regularly. Interestingly, we get a transfer offer for Herbie Kane for a well above his value. And I will just straight away accept it. I don't want to mess about. Herbie Kane is another player who keeps rejecting uh, transfers. Uh, and the player of the month has been Roberto Firmino. That is brilliant. Really happy with that, that he was announced the player of the month. And here you can see him getting his award, getting his trophy. Fantastic news. And also there are quite a few Liverpool players in this, uh, you know, team of the week. Firmino, Naby Keita, Klein, Andrew Robertson. Where is, uh, where is Sadio Mane? He has been scoring goals like for fun. All the other big teams won except Man City, so Tottenham, Chelsea and Manchester United won as well. And, and also Arsenal have beaten Burnley, so we needed to win this game to keep pace with Arsenal. So as you can see, the only team apart from Liverpool who are with 100% record is Arsenal. And it was vital to win the first three games because if you already put a four point gap between ourselves and Manchester United and Chelsea, Plus Tottenham and Manchester City are way behind us now. 
So it has been a good start, really really happy with this. And Sadio Mane who has been the top scorer last season, he is already leading the goal scoring charts with 4 goals, just so, just so happy with him. Firmino has 3 assists already, Alex Oxley chamberlain has 2, Shakiri has 1, very very happy with that. Really hope that you guys enjoyed this Liverpool Carrier Mode episode, if you did, leave a like, see you later guys, good night!